हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल वर्ल्ड ऑफ ए डब्ल्यू एस आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड सो वी आर कंटिन्यूंग विथ कम्प्लीट गिट लैब सी आई सी डी पाइप लाइन ट्यूटोरियल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम इम्पोर्टेंट की पॉइंट दैट यू शुड नो वेन एवर यू आर क्रिएटिंग योर गिट लैब पाइप लाइन ओके सो लेट मी जम्प हेयर इन माई गिट लैब डैशबोर्ड ओके सो एंड लेट मी क्रिएट ओन न्यू प्रोजेक्ट हेयर okay and let me create project so our project is getting created now click on edit to write something in this project or so let me add the gitlab pipeline file so you should always write gitlab file name get lab pipeline file name like this only so that it will work okay if you write something else apart from this then your pipeline will not get triggered okay so you always have to uh, write first dot then get lab hyphen ci dot yml suppose let me edit it if i write yml then it will take yaml okay it will become yaml file but if i remove uh, if i write only yml then it will uh, sync the gitlab pipeline logo here as you can see right and apart from it if i remove dot as well it will become yaml so our gitlab pipeline will not get trigger no matter what we are writing in our uh pipeline okay and script whatever we are mentioning our pipeline will not get triggered okay so make sure your gitlab pipeline file name is similar to this okay so let me show you how we can create pipeline so first i am going to define the build stage okay then what we are going to do we are going to write image that is alpine and then we are going to write our script so we are going to write multiple script okay so echo hello world okay then after that we can write some other command as well ls we can mention mkdir and build then we are going to that directory that cd build then after that we are going to create file that is build dot txt then after that we are going to cat that file build dot txt okay so this is how we can define our pipeline and let me commit this so let's go back let's go to the build then we have to go to pipeline to see the pipeline whatever pipeline we have committed okay so here is the pipeline id and this is the commit code and this is the branch name that we have committed our changes okay and created by it so the username and it showing the stage or uh, like whatever stage we have mentioned in our gitlab ci cd pipeline file in file uh, file so how much stages we have defined it will show here okay and from here we can download the artifact but we have not defined any artifact stages in our pipeline so that's why there is no artifact available okay so we'll learn in this uh, we'll learn these things 
in upcoming video okay so click on this pipeline id and click on build and as you can see here we can see all the things whatever things and is command we have mentioned there right mkdir build cd build touch build dot txt cat build up build dot txt okay and our job is getting successfully succeeded right so suppose if i do same thing here okay sorry let's not get copied let me copy it and let me paste it again so let me change to test stage okay and everything is fine so here just we are going to uh, do test things so we are going to change it to test 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 okay let me commit these changes go to the pipelines again and as you can see here our pipeline is running let's go to our pipeline and you can see here both the stages build and test that is belong to test only it's not the different stages okay so let's go back and you can see there is only one stage that is test is running okay but how we have defined we have defined here like this only we have defined different uh, like a stage here but we have not defined the stages stages that make it different and that will like separate the stages from each other we have not done in this pipeline so that's why it's showing only one pipeline and one stage here that is test okay so what we can do we can define the stage here okay so stage is stage is we can write uh, that is first is build then second one is test okay so this is how we can define our stages in gitlab ci cd pipeline so let me commit this change okay sorry it will not work uh, i have to do some uh, changes here as well so let me define the stage here okay A stage that will be build and here what a stage it will be sorry a stage that is test okay so now it will uh, like um, run in the different stages okay because we have defined the two different stages here so let me commit this change here and let me see our pipeline is running or not so what happened our pipeline is not get committed but test some yaml indentation issue here so let me quickly resolve that
okay now what we have to do we have to commit our change here again okay let's go back to the pipeline here and as you can see our pipeline is running now okay so there was some indentation issue in yaml so whenever you are writing your yaml file you have to make sure that there is no indentation issue because yaml is case sensitive language if there is any extra space your pipeline your file will like uh, not we have as it should okay so our pipeline is running successfully now so as you can see here there is two different stages that first one is build second one is test okay let's go back here and as you can see here okay our uh, pipeline having two stages build pass test pass but before when we have defined only uh, we have not defined the stage option and we have not defined stages here as well and we have not defined stages in our um, uh, pipeline then there was only one stage and it is considering all the pipeline all the like uh, all the syntaxes whatever syntaxes we have defined it considering as a single stage so this is how we can define different stage in our gitlab pipeline and you uh, like you should always use this type of name to define your gitlab pipeline file name okay apart from it if you give any name your pipeline will not get trigger okay and if you have any indentation issue in your gitlab file name it will not work okay so you have to make sure there is no extra spaces there is no extra indentation issue or your file is your yaml is valid so for that you can use yaml validator okay yaml validator you can search and you can make sure that your yaml file is valid okay so as we can see here our yaml file is valid that's why our pipeline is getting successfully executed with the two stages and first one is build second one is test right so i hope you found this video informative and helpful and now you are able to uh, create different stages in gitlab ci cd pipeline and don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you are new to my channel then do check out my other playlist as well thanks thanks for watching see you in the next video